Okay, so this is the virtual assistant that you will be building and running. First, let's run this and see what it does. And then I'll show you how you can run it on your computer and how you can make changes to this so that it does whatever you want it to do. Okay, so first, I'll just run it. Welcome back. Good morning, Sam. Jojo at your service. Please tell me how can I help you? Tell me a joke. Why do programmers always mix up Halloween and Christmas? Because October 31st equals December 25th. I didn't understand that joke. I'll have to think about it. <laughs> so, uh... Girl, do you drink? Programmer, no. Girl, have girlfriend. Programmer, no. Girl, then how do you enjoy life? Programmer, I am programmer. Not good. Where were you born? I was created by Vishal, in Nepal. Open Google. What should I search? U.S. election. Searching. Send email. What should I send? Is the meeting on for 1 p.m.? Who is the receiver, sir? Vishal at the rate gmail. Okay, so this part you have to type. <laughs> Unable to send email. So yeah, it is unable because uh, username and password are not set here properly. Now, let's see how it is working and what you can do to modify it according to your needs and how you can run this. So I'll just press Control C to close this. Let me clear this. Now, let's see what it is doing and how it is doing whatever it is doing. So first of all, this is where it comes when you run the project that is inside this main part, okay? So first, uh, this function is called that is wish me so if I go inside wish me as you can see it's not doing much it's just saying welcome back and then saying good morning good afternoon or good evening or good night according to the current time and it just asks you how can I help you and how is it speaking this welcome back so to speak I'm using a Python library that is pi TTS x3 so all these libraries are mentioned in this so uh, I'll show you how you can set it up later on Okay, so let's see the flow. After it wishes you good uh, good evening, good night or whatever, it just continuously listens to whatever you are saying. Because we have a while loop here, it continuously says whatever you are listening. And if it recognizes time in your query or in whatever you have said, it just says the time. If it catches date in your query, it says date. If uh, you say who am I, it will tell you who you are. According to whatever you have set your name here, so I've uh, named this Master Sam. You can name it, you can give it your name. Okay, and yeah, so it's basically pretty basic. Oh, whatever it catches in your query, it acts according to that. So if you tell a joke, if you say a joke in your query, like I don't want to hear a joke, even then it'll tell a joke because it's pretty primitive. And yeah. It can open Visual Studio Code, it can open GitHub, it can write notes, it can send emails, it can play music, and it can uh, tell you about the weather. So, yeah, there are some things that you'll have to change, like if you want to open your GitHub account, you can, you'll can you have to add your GitHub name here. If you want to open Chrome, Visual Studio Code, you'll have to enter the path of Chrome and Visual Studio Code that is in your uh, computer. And it can open YouTube and so on. So if you want to... Uh, if we wanted to tell you with the details, you will have to create an API key in open with the map. Yeah. So basically, this is pretty simple and this is how it is working. Now to run this in your computer, after you have cloned it or downloaded it from GitHub, uh, the link is in the description below. What you need to do is first you need to create a virtual environment. So I already have it created here, as you can see. If you have not, what you can do is you can run this command and it will create a virtual environment. After the virtual environment is created, you can activate it by just typing your virtual environment name and then scripts, and then activate. And you will see this green thing after it has been activated. If it was not activated, you will not see this. You will just see this part. Now, if you are on Mac or Linux, you'll have to enter something else. That is, you have to add source here, and then instead of scripts, it's bin. So you have to enter this command if you are on Mac or Linux, and then virtual environment will be activated. After that, you need to install the libraries and you need to run this command.
and it will install the requirements i already have everything installed so it's finished quickly in your time it will take a couple of minutes and after you have activated the virtual environment and installed the required dependencies you can just run this like this okay so yeah now if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and let me know what you build